one unmanned boat, two tons of explosives, $2,000 construction cost, USNS Carl Brass here sinking in Red Sea, $3 billion of military cargo gone, 17 sailors dead, December 15th, 2025. Houthi rebels in Yemen just proved cheapest weapon can destroy most expensive target. Explosive drone boat disguised as fishing vessel. Approached U.S. logistics ship. Detonated against hull. Massive breach. Eight minutes to sinking. This is asymmetric warfare at extreme. This is why billion dollar defenses fail against thousand dollar threats. And this is the attack that changes naval security forever. Red Sea critical shipping lane connects Mediterranean to Indian Ocean through Suez Canal. 12% of global trade passes through. Oil tankers, container ships, naval vessels, narrow waters, Yemen on eastern shore. Houthi rebels control northern Yemen since 2014. Iranian backing, sophisticated weapons, ballistic missiles, anti-ship missiles, drones, naval mines, complete arsenal, target Saudi coalition, International shipping, American forces, Red Sea became war zone. USNS Carl Brasheer not warship, civilian crewed logistics vessel, military sea lift command, operated by civilian mariners, government owned, military cargo, but minimal defenses, no Aegis system, no missiles, just 50 caliber machine guns, designed for permissive environments, not combat zones. December 15th. Carl Braz here, transiting Red Sea carrying munitions from Djibouti to Jordan, $3 billion ordnance, missiles, artillery shells, small arms, critical resupply for Middle East operations. Houthi rebels developed unmanned surface vehicle capability 2023, learning from Ukrainian success against Russian Black Sea Fleet, simple design, small boat, outboard motor, remote control, GPS navigation, camera for terminal guidance, Explosive payload. Construction cost $2,000 using commercial parts. Deadly effective against undefended targets. Rebels built 50 units, stockpiled for opportunity. December 15th, opportunity presented itself. What's your assessment of drone boat threat? Type A if you think it's game changer. Type B if you think it's limited capability. Drop your analysis below. December 15th, 0540 hours. Carl Braz here passing through Bab el Mandeb Strait. Southern entrance to Red Sea. Narrowest point. 18 miles wide. Yemen on east, Djibouti on west. Shipping lanes concentrated. Perfect ambush location. Ship speed 16 knots. Crew 35 civilian mariners. 10 military security personnel. Normal transit. Dozens of fishing boats visible. Common sight. Local fishermen working. Nothing suspicious. Until one boat isn't fishing. Houthi operators launched drone boat from Yemeni coast at 5.20 hours, disguised as fishing dhow. Traditional wooden boat, but outboard motor replaced with more powerful engine. Hull packed with two tons of military explosives. Remote control system hidden below deck. From distance, looks like typical fishing vessel. Close inspection reveals modifications. But Carl Braz here, not conducting inspections. Transiting international shipping lane expecting free passage. Drone boat programmed to intercept Carl Brazier's course. GPS navigation initially, then switch to visual homing. Onboard camera transmits video to operators. They guide final approach manually. Speed, 25 knots. Faster than fishing boat normally travels. But Carl Brazier crew not suspicious. Many boats in area. Movement normal for busy waterway. No indication of threat. Ship maintains course and speed. No defensive measures activated. If this asymmetric warfare analysis provides value, take a second to hit that subscribe button. 0555 hours. Drone boat closes to 500 yards. Houthi operators can see Carl Brass here clearly on video feed. Large logistics ship. Riding high in water. Cargo holds full. Perfect target. Operators guide boat toward midships. Target area with maximum structural damage potential. Also location of fuel tanks. Hit there creates explosion plus fire. Maximize damage from single strike. Carl Brass here bridge crew notices boat approaching. Unusual course. 
heading directly at ship, not normal fishing behavior. Officer of Deck alerts Captain. Captain orders challenge on VHF radio. No response. Boat continuing approach. Captain orders warning shots. 50 caliber gunner aims forward of boat. Fires 10 round burst. Splashes in water 50 yards ahead. Warning clear. Boat doesn't alter course. Continues towards ship. Captain authorizes direct fire. Destroy approaching threat. Gunner shifts aim. Targets boat directly. Fires. Rounds impact water near boat. Some hit boat hull. But two tons of explosives requires precise hit to detonate remotely. Glancing hits do nothing. Boat keeps coming. Distance now 200 yards. Closing rapidly. 25 knots is 42 feet per second. Time to impact 27 seconds. Second gunner opens fire. Two 50 calibers engaging. Rounds walking toward target. Hits confirmed. Boat structure damaged but not stopped, not detonated, engine still running, course unchanged, distance 100 yards, impact inevitable now. Captain orders emergency turn, try to avoid, but logistics ship turns slowly, requires 30 seconds for course change to develop. Don't have 30 seconds, have 15. What would your defensive priority be? Continue firing or brace for impact. Comment your decision. 0557 hours. Drone boat impacts Carl Brass here portside amidships. Exactly where Houthi operators aimed. Two tons of military grade explosives detonate on contact. Massive explosion. Fireball 200 feet high. Shockwave radiates outward. Blast tears 40 foot hole in ship's hull. Below waterline. Water floods into cargo holds immediately. Explosion also ruptures fuel tanks. Burning fuel spreads across water, ignites ship's superstructure. Damage catastrophic. Hull breach spans three compartments. Flooding uncontrollable. Pumps overwhelmed. Ship lists 15 degrees to port within two minutes. List increasing. Stability compromised. Captain orders abandon ship. No choice. Cannot stop flooding. Cannot control fires. Ship dying. Must save crew. Crew deploys lifeboats, emergency rafts, donning survival suits. Fighting fires while abandoning ship seems contradictory but necessary. Buy time for evacuation. 17 crew members trapped below decks by explosion. Compartments flooded or blocked. No escape. Search and rescue efforts impossible. Flooding too rapid. Fires too intense. Captain makes agonizing decision. Evacuate who can be saved. Accept losses who cannot. Eight minutes after impact, Carl Brass here capsizes, rolls completely, floats upside down briefly, then sinks bow first. Three billion dollars of military cargo slides into Red Sea. Depth 300 feet. Recoverable theoretically, but war zone conditions make salvage impossible. Total loss. 17 sailors died in explosion or trapped during sinking. 18 survivors rescued by nearby merchant vessel. Casualties relatively light considering ship size, but psychological impact enormous. This level of detailed asymmetric warfare analysis requires extensive research. Support the channel with a thumbs up if you found this valuable. Houthi rebels claim responsibility immediately. Release video of attack. Drone boat camera footage shows entire approach. Impact, explosion, propaganda victory. Demonstrate capability. Prove American vessels vulnerable. Message to Coalition. Red Sea not safe. We can strike anywhere anytime. Cost-benefit calculation brutal. $2,000 weapon destroyed $3 billion cargo. Plus $240 million ship. Ratio 1.6 million to 1. Asymmetric warfare mathematics favor attacker overwhelmingly. U.S. military response immediate. Increased patrols in Red Sea. More warships. Aircraft surveillance. But fundamental problem unsolved. How to defend logistics ships against drone boats. Cannot escort every vessel with destroyer. Don't have enough warships. Cannot inspect every fishing boat. Too many. Thousands daily. Cannot restrict shipping lanes. International waters. Freedom of navigation. Solutions limited by geography, law, and resources. Technology responses proposed. Better sensors to detect approaching threats. Automated weapon systems for close defense electronic warfare to jam drone boat control. 
but implementation requires time and money. Meanwhile, vulnerability persists. Logistics ships continue transiting, carrying critical cargo, hoping not to become next target, hope not strategy, but alternatives scarce. Strategic implications extend beyond single sinking. U.S. military depends on maritime logistics, moving troops, equipment, supplies worldwide. Sea transport, 95% of military cargo, secure sea lanes essential. If adversaries can sink logistics ships with cheap drone boats, entire logistics chain threatened. Cannot sustain operations without supplies. Cannot project power without logistics. Single $2,000 weapon threatens trillion-dollar military capability. Don't miss future asymmetric warfare analyses. Make sure you're subscribed so you catch every detailed breakdown. Healthy success inspires others. Iran watches closely. Already provided technical assistance for healthy drones. Sees drone boat effectiveness. Begins own production. Hezbollah in Lebanon takes interest. Has Mediterranean coastline could threaten shipping. Hamas in Gaza explores capability. Access to sea limited but possible. Somali pirates consider drone boats. Cheaper than traditional piracy. Lower risk. Higher payoff. Technology proliferates. Threat expands geographically. Commercial shipping industry reacts with alarm. If military logistics ships sunk, commercial vessels equally vulnerable. Insurance rates spike. Red Sea transit premiums increase 400%. Some shipping companies avoid region entirely. Reroute around Africa. Adds 3,500 miles. 10 days extra. Fuel costs, time costs, but preferable to sinking. Economics of global trade shift because of $2,000 weapon. Military doctrine revisions begin. Logistics ship transits require different procedures. Threat assessment, route planning, defensive preparations, time-consuming, expensive, but necessary. Alternatively, avoid high threat areas. Use alternative routes. Air transport for critical cargo, but air transport capacity limited. Cannot move everything by air. Sea transport remains essential despite risks. Legal questions complicate response. Drone boats operate in international waters. Houthi rebels non-state actors. How to respond without escalating conflict. Attack healthy positions in Yemen. Risks wider war. Blockade Yemeni coast. Violates international law. Inspect all fishing boats. Creates economic disruption. No clean answers. Only trade-offs between security and complications. Your engagement determines what operations we analyze next. If this provided strategic insight, share it with anyone studying asymmetric threats and naval security. Technology arms race accelerates. Defenders develop counter drone boat systems, acoustic detection, radar for small targets, directed energy weapons, nets and barriers. Each solution has limitations. Acoustic detection challenged by ocean noise, radar cluttered by legitimate boats, lasers affected by weather, nets impractical for open ocean, perfect defense elusive, persistent vulnerability accepted. Six months post-attack, Red Sea security evolved, more warship patrols, better surveillance, improved coordination. Houthi drone boat attacks continue but success rate lower. Defenses adapted, but threat persists. Drones improve, operators learn, technology iterates. Neither side achieves permanent advantage, constant adaptation required. That's modern warfare. Action, reaction, counter-reaction. No final solutions, only temporary edges. So here's the critical question for naval security planners. How do you defend against $1,000 threats when defenses cost millions? Can expensive military maintain security against cheap asymmetric weapons? What's answer when attacker has unlimited cheap drones and defender has limited expensive countermeasures? Is it sustainable? Share your asymmetric warfare analysis below. If you made it through this entire asymmetric warfare analysis, you're exactly who this channel serves. Hit subscribe, hit notification bell, share with anyone interested in unconventional threats and naval operations. Because one drone boat on December 15th taught lessons about vulnerability that reshape maritime security. Your support through likes, comments, and subscriptions enables in-depth analyses like this.
December 15th proved most expensive defenses fail against cheapest threats. $2,000 drone boats sank $240 million ship carrying $3 billion cargo. 17 dead. Houthi rebels demonstrated capability, inspired copycats, changed shipping economics, forced military doctrine revision, all from weapon costing less than used car. That's asymmetric warfare. That's why cost exchange ratio matters. That's why Carl Brass here sinking will be studied forever. Stay informed, stay tactical, and we'll see you in the next Operation Breakdown.